Welcome to our AMD Lucid Automation Testing channel. We will have a series of talk about Selenium Automation Testing, which will help you better understand the basics of Selenium and also guide you to build your own Selenium Automation Project. You may access our test project and guide in the description below. Please subscribe to our channel for any new videos and updates. In today's video, we are going to be talking about Selenium Cucumber. In today's video, we will talk about BDD, which stands for Behavior Driven Development. So BDD is largely facilitated through the use of a simple domain specific language using natural language constructs. For example, this is like English like sentences. Uh, and these can express the behavior and the expected outcome that we want to see from our test. So one thing that we use a lot is Cucumber Gherkin. And in Cucumber Gherkin, the keywords are given, when, then, and and. So here's an example of a test case in Cucumber Gherkin, which is a feature file. So we are given a scenario where a user wants to book a golf course. Given, I open booking in Chrome, when I fill in fields and save booking, then I close web browser. We see that in this scenario, we use the given, when, then, and and keywords. So how do we set up a Cucumber Gherkin in Selenium Automation? First, we need to update the dependencies in our pom.xml file. Following that, we need to import classes. Java source classes for web elements and functions and so on. And then we need to make Java classes as well, such as run cucumber tests, uh, step definitions. And finally, we need to make text feature files. Uh, for example, uh, we'll show later, uh, these could be golf.feature, booking.feature, but the extension of the files is feature. So this is just a quick flow diagram of what we just described. So in BDD, testing. Uh, we first, we have communication between the QAs, developers, and clients, and so on. And then this will then um, be communicated into Gherkin, uh, Cucumber Gherkin test cases using simple English language. So after that, we have here, uh, we will set up our Cucumber tests. And then uh, from the Cucumber tests, classes and stuff, we will move it on and we will use step definition classes to, uh, to relay the information to our Selenium Java Maven project. And so basically this, this in the middle here is just to communicate between the, the different parts of our project. So now we will look at a simple example of a BDD project. So like I mentioned earlier, the first thing we need to do is we need to import the dependencies into our palm.xml file. So here we see that first we need to import uh, our dependencies for Cucumber Java. And down here, we need to import our dependencies for Cucumber J unit. And again, this is in our palm.xml file. What I'll do next is I will go under Java here and I will create a new package. And I'm going to name this package features with an uppercase F. Uh, and same thing down here under our test folder, I'm going to create a, another package as well. And I'm going to name this features with a lowercase F. And so these names of these uh, packages don't really matter too much, but I just want to keep it consistent for our project. So under the first uh, features package, I'm going to create a class called booking. And in this class, we will basically outline various, um, various functions and various web elements that we need for testing. So first thing I'll do is I'm going to import our dependencies. So here, I imported the various dependencies that we need. Following that, I'm going to I'm going to paste over some code and I'll, I'll describe it briefly afterwards. 
So what I just did was I just pasted some code. Uh, and so the first parts of the code, we basically uh, specified the web elements. So we have the, the ID of the calendar, the ID of the phone, email, and book by, etc. And then later on, I uh, created various functions, and these functions performed the various uh, tests on our web page. For example, this one would test opening the uh, Chrome web browser, and then we also have one for booking a golf course, and so on. The next thing we will do is we will go to our other package with a lowercase f features. First, what I'm going to do is I'm going to paste in a Java class. This Java class is called run cucumber test. In this class, the first thing we do is we have to import the dependencies that we need to use. So we import uh, cucumber options and we import cucumber j unit. Uh, here we see that there's there's an at cucumber options here and we specified features equal to this package location or this uh, file location and basically what this is is this is to specify the features files that we'll be using later and um, this will direct us to this uh, package folder we have right here because later we will be putting our feature files into this folder next what I'm going to do is I'm going to paste another uh, Java class into this package folder. This Java class is called step definitions. In the first part of this Java class, what we do is we import the various dependencies we need. First, we see that we're importing our features booking class that we specified earlier. I'm going to comment this out right here because this is something that we will use for another part of the project. Here we have um, a few, a few uh, key terms from Cucumber that we uh, import. So we import the given, then, when, and the and key terms that we described earlier. So now we're going to look a little bit inside our uh, step definitions class. So this is the, the standard before in our JUnit. Uh, but here is what is a little bit different. First is what we do is we set up an instance for our booking class that we specified earlier. And within here, we use the various key terms given, when, and then. So if we look at given here, it says, I open booking in Chrome. So this is basically the English phrase that we translate uh, in our test. And this will translate into us using the uh, open booking uh, function within our booking class from earlier. And this will basically open the Chrome browser. Next, we see that for when uh, term, we, we use the English phrase, I fill in fields and save booking. And this phrase uh, in the step definitions class will basically translate it to the book golf course function in our original bookings uh, class from up here. And finally, in then, we will use the English phrase, I close web browser, and this will translate into the close function in the booking instance that we created, and this will basically close the Chrome web browser. Uh, below here, down here, these are some other classes that we have. Uh, this is something we'll describe later because, uh, because it will be used to show some other uh, functions. So I'm just going to comment this out for now. And so this is basically our step definitions class. So like I described earlier, what makes the step definition class unique is that it is basically the thing that communicates between our Java Maven project, which is specified up here uh, in this class up here, and basically our feature files uh, from our Cucumber test. So our final step now intuitively is that we need to create our features file. So I'm going to paste a uh, features file over into this uh, package down here with the lowercase f features. And we're going to call it booking.features with the extension feature. And here we basically see this is the, what the cucumber test feature file looks like. We have uh, our feature is we call it booking and then we have a scenario and the scenario we specify is as a user I want to book a golf course. 
Notice here, we don't pass any variables. They don't, we don't specify what kind of golf course we want to book, when we want to book it. We just simply want to book a golf course. And that's why we use the scenario keyword. And then below here, we have three key terms, the given, when, and then. And these three phrases, these three English phrases, we actually see, uh, we actually saw earlier in our step definitions class. And so if we refresh our memory uh, in our step definitions class, we see that these match the three key phrases, uh, English phrases that we have here. And this is why we say that the step definition class will uh, translate uh, the booking.feature file uh, into our Java Maven project. So now what we can do is we can test this. Uh, what I'll do is I'll go here and I'll just run the test in features. And we see that what happens is we open our browser, we fill in the thing, and then we will close the browser. So the given term, which is we open the Chrome browser, that happened. The when term is when we fill in the fields in the booking and we save the booking. We saw that happen as well. And finally, we saw that then, then key term happen as well because the web browser closed. And so that is just a simple example of a cucumber test. So next, I'm going to introduce an example that is a little bit more complex. So again, the first thing we'll do is we'll go under our features package here, and I'm going to paste a class. And we're going to call this golf. So if we go through this class, we see that the first thing we do again is we import the various uh, dependencies we need. And then next, what we do is we specify some various web elements. So here, this is the uh, the IDs and the uh, just basically the locators for the different elements that we need to look at. And then we also specify some functions that perform some stuff. So we have the open golf course function here. We have uh, a close function here. And then we have a search function here. Notice in this function here, we actually have an argument and the argument is a string uh, and it's golf. And that's the golf course we're searching for. And we also have validate name address, which also has two arguments. So the string here and the string here, and these are used in this function. And we also have the select country function, which also takes another argument. So this is a little bit different from what we did earlier in our bookings function, where none of the none of the functions took any arguments. So now we're going to look at how we can basically make this project happen as now we need arguments for our different functions. So again, what we'll do is we'll come back down to this features uh, package with the lowercase f. And we're going to first what we're going to do is we're going to paste our features file. So I'm just going to paste a features file. And this feature file looks a little bit different. So on the top, we specify the feature as golf. And now we see that this looks a little bit different than what we had earlier. Instead of using the scenario keyword, we use scenario outline. And this is because this time we have arguments to pass. So let's look through this very quickly. So our, our scenario outline is as a user, I want to search for a golf course. So given I am using a, a user for a golf course, when I enter a golf course and uh, we see here, there's these, uh, this right here, this is to specify a variable. And in next we see our and key term. I validate golf course name and its address for searching. We see that we specify two more variables here. And then our then key term is I close web app. And down here, examples. These are basically um, various examples for these variables that we decide to pass through. So golf would be the first one here would show that 
we're going to use tiger C for that golf variable. Uh, and next here, for the name, we are going to use tiger C as well for that variable. And then for the address, we're going to use this address. Following that, we have sky golf course for this first variable, sky golf course for the second variable, and then we have this 100 avenue uh, for the address variable, and so on. So that is that. And then we see we do the same similar thing down here. Uh, this time, in this scenario outlined below, we have a different, um, different set of variables. So we have the country variable and we have the address variable. And again, we uh, specify these three variables using three different uh, scenarios. So there's a Sweden scenario where we have the country as Sweden and then the name as PGA Sweden National and the address is that. And then we have it for Iceland, Canada, and so on. So we see that the booking uh, dot feature file this time is a little bit more comprehensive. There's a lot more examples that we're testing for. So remember, we can now we can go back to our step functions, uh, step definitions function, uh, a class. Uh, and earlier I commented out these uh, functions down here. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to uncomment it because this time we'll be using it. So I am going to uncomment that. And now let's just quickly look through it. So it starts right about here. And so first thing we do is we create a new instance for golf. And this basically just uses the golf uh, class we specified earlier. And now we have our given when and 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 when and then key terms. So uh, we're going to look through that really quickly. So first, for a given key term, I am a user for golf course. Uh, this looks very similar to what we had earlier. There's no arguments being specified. Next, we have the when key term. Uh, and here we have I enter a golf course. And then we have this right here. And this is basically just to specify, uh, uh, basically to specify the variable. So whatever we have here, this will take as the variable uh, down here. And that will be thrown into the uh, the function search. So whatever we put here will be the variable uh, golf. Next, we have the and key term. I validate golf course name. We have this variable here and its address. And we have this variable here for searching. And these two will be thrown into the function as the variables n and add. Same thing for this other when key term. This will be a variable and that would be the variable country. And then we have I close web app uh, for the then key term. And for the run key programs test, we can just keep this uh, function or, or keep this class the same because it just specifies where our feature files are. So now, okay, so now I'm going to go through this really quickly. Now we're going to have to import this again. So I'm going to uncomment that. And now, we can test this again. So run test in features. So the first thing it'll do is it will uh, test the booking that we specified first. So the simple example, and we see that that works. Next, it's gonna test the golf. So we see that it's going through the various scenarios that we specified because we specified many scenarios. And finally, we see that all the scenarios went through. First, it was for the feature uh, testing for booking, and then it was for golf that we just specified, the more complicated example. And the reason we have six different tests for golf is because in the golf.feature file, we created six different examples as shown here. So I hope you learned something useful from this video, and I wish you good luck on your own project. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe so you can see our most recent videos. Thank you for watching. See you next time.